back in. Rob Black and your money. I always talk preventative care when it comes to dentistry. will save you a lot of money. Some areas that I don't really think about is retirement and dental work. Let's bring in our expert, Dr. Zachary Held from Heldon Law in San Carlos. He is my personal dentist, someone I dig quite a bit because he's young and he's aggressive and he knows his techniques, which I, I like. Let's talk about aging. It's tough on the teeth. A lot of people are starting to retire the baby boomers. What do they need to know about dental care going forward? I guess the number one thing is is the uh, more preventive you can be with your dental care, the more cost effective it is for you in the long run. Um, the problem that most people have is uh, when they need, have the greatest need, our dental insurance doesn't happen to be there for us. Now, aging's tough on the teeth. Um, when you're working at IBM, you're working at Cisco, you probably have a pretty good health care plan, you're getting your cleanings. But there's a transition to Medicare and what happens after you retire when you're no longer on that plan from the, the, the work that you've done your whole career. What do we need to know about what Medicare looks like in dental work? Um, the problem with the Medicare world is dentistry is not included in that. So uh, most people, if you can't get a group plan from your work where you're working at the present um, in retirement, you're forced to get a individual plan. And that tends to have coverage all over the board. Um, the one general rule is it tends to be lower than what you have now. I was going to ask you about orthodontics and teenagers. Like, what has changed? Because back when I was a kid, it was a frightening experience. But you brought up orthodontics and senior citizens. Tell us a little bit more about that. Um, orthodontics can be a great solution for preventive care. Uh, when you have teeth that are crooked and hard to access with your cleaning tools, um, they can be more susceptible to problems in the future, um, gum disease, decay. Uh, our orthodontists are great. They, they are seeing adults almost as much as they are kids now, straightening the teeth, um, allowing them to be in a better place so that you wear them more evenly and are able to keep them cleaner, easier. I was shocked many years ago. I learned that my mom had a full set of dentures. I only learned because she was in the hospital and had them out. I don't know how long she's had them, to tell you the truth. Let's talk dentures and dentistry. What do we need to know? Um, dentures are a great option if you're losing all of your teeth. Um, in my office, we like to prevent you from having false teeth at all costs. Um, they can be aesthetic. They, like, like you said, you didn't even know your mother had dentures. Um, it can be very difficult to eat on dentures. They are not like real teeth. They're flapping around in your gums. They're hard to retain. Um, generally, you can't eat as healthy as you can in dentures as you can having your normal teeth. Okay, a little bit more on uh, some of the new practices. We've hit the seniors pretty good. Let's talk a little bit about um, some of the, the new things out there. For instance, Mark Dannon took his kid to a dentist recently and they did lasers to get the cavities. What do we need to know about lasers and cavities? Uh, laser is an amazing tool. Uh, the one thing that they're great at is, is fixing small holes in teeth that haven't been restored previously. Um, it uses a high intensity light that vaporizes tooth particles in small bits. Um, the nice thing with that is it's kind of self-sealing and oftentimes no anesthetic is needed when you're getting that done. Nice tip for our listeners and viewers out there is at the end of the year, make sure you use up all your benefits when they reset. Let's talk about the benefits tied towards health savings accounts. What is a health savings account to you? Um, health savings account is a great lifeline. If you have a very particularly tough year um, in my office, say you have a fall where you damage your teeth to the point where we need implants or some significant amount of dentistry where your personal insurance is going to run out, um, a health savings account would be like a lifeline that would allow us to work and cover some of the costs that might happen that you weren't expecting. So sometimes roofs fail, it's very expensive. Sometimes trees fall on your house, it's very expensive. Sometimes you have emergencies tied towards your teeth and it's very expensive. What would you tell your son or what would you tell a friend the basic things that you need to do at home so that they don't have to come to your office in a worst case scenario, even though they should be coming to your office for preventative care? We have some amazing patients in our office that um, make me feel almost unneeded. They are doing such a good job keeping their teeth clean um, that my job is just to check up on them periodically to make sure they don't have any cavities. Um, I guess that's the biggest thing is, is keep your teeth as clean as you can. Um, elicit the, surface, the services of a dentist or hygienist to have you checked up periodically to make sure you are doing a good job. And to be honest, if you do a good job at home, um, we have 
much less use. What is, a, what is a good job at home in general? Brushing your teeth twice a day, flossing once a day, water pick? What would your routine look like? What does your routine look like? Um, the generic response to that is you brush your teeth twice a day, two minutes at a time. Um, one of those times you're flossing your teeth. Um, my regimen at home, I use an electric toothbrush. It is kind of, you can do the exact same job with a regular toothbrush as you can with an electric toothbrush. But it's kind of, the analogy I use is like using a blower compared to a broom. It just works faster, it's a power tool. It's fun. I like it. Let's bring up his contact information. Again, he is my personal dentist. Um, I kind of like the younger dentists these days. In large part, they're trained on new techniques that I didn't even know existed. Dr. Zachary Held, held in Laos and Carlos, California. You can find out more at his website, greatgrin.com. That's greatgrin.com. We'll take a break here, come back, talk financial issues, money, investing, retirement, whatever's on your mind, drop me an email. Rob at robblack.com. Thank you.